Right then, welcome back. And you've probably guessed, but we're doing this. Set up for 2005 GSX-R600 and 124 horsepower, really? 124 horsepower for stock 600. I'm surprised, especially one from 2005. But anyway, great bike, great colour scheme. Throw everything at it, and we end up with 142 horsepower and 183 down from, what, 195 or something like that? So, yeah, it certainly has potential. I don't like the fact that you can't change the exhaust. Now it tips the scales at S781, um, which is okay. There's the electronics and the tyres. Tyres, medium soft front, soft rears. It likes soft tyres. It really does. Um, pros and cons. It is quick for a 600. Um, there is a con to being a 600. We'll come to that. Um, it is quick. It, is, it will really, really push the thousand of bigger CCC bikes. CCC bikes? Just CC bikes. Uh, it's got a wonderful front end. I know I say that every time, but some bikes do, and we seem to be picking the good ones in a minute. And it loves soft tyres. The cons, it can get rowdy. It can. Not as bad as the Ducati, but not far off. And it lacks a bit of grunt. It's a 600. You forget that. You're racing an MV Augusta 1000, and you can't keep up in a straight line. And you can't change the exhaust. I, I really struggle to find cons with the bike. Uh, it is quick, it handles well, it will get a little bit feisty, um, but it doesn't have the grunt of the 998 to fire you out of the seat and do whatever else. So it's more interesting than the Honda, more interesting than the Honda, but not, I don't think, as usable across a wider range of tracks. We have looked in absolutely looked in with the tracks that we've used on we've done the euro motorfest 600 event and the in the euro league um and the first thing we're going to do is a time attack at alton island now we're already top with the mv augusta rivali as we've just seen so i've got to beat myself and ordinarily i wouldn't have a problem with that i'm a progressive man and i don't believe that a self um self-abuse is a bad thing uh when you can and um, get away with it uh, but it's a 600 racing against an 800 and it's going to be very very difficult we did a lot of laps a lot a lot of laps and we ended up with 118.246 and if you had good eyes and you saw the time the mv set you'll know that that isn't quite as fast although it would have put a second so theoretically that's top twice um, but how did it handle on a stock two and eight setup it was okay I did a few laps at the same time as the event is in the Euro League, and we ended up on a 118.4. So there's only a couple of tenths in it between doing it at the normal time of day and then doing it at the 1700 when everything's nice and warm and the sun's out. Um, we did make a couple of changes. We took one off the front preload, we added two to the spring hardness and compression, and one to the rebound, all on the front, and we took one off the rear comp. I did the original event on softs. This time attack right now in the sunshine, where we're going a little bit quicker, is a medium front. And you can see the bike is still warming that tire up. Alton Island is hard on the front end. It's a very, very front endy circuit. Should we call it a friendy? Friendy? No, that's a little bit. Yeah, we won't go there again. Um, but yeah, it's a front end circuit. The bike handled well. You can see it wants to move about. She's not exactly Honda-esque in her stability. Certainly no Harley Davidson. Uh, but a 118.246, I was quite happy with that. I thought that was a reasonably quick lap. lap. And when we went back, 118.246 would put us top of the pile, apart from um, myself annoying myself because I'm already top of the pile. But you get what I'm saying. Next up was a three-lapper at the Nürburgring GP Sprint Circuit. Now, I did it once and had the race set to five laps and my brain imploded because I could not do that. It had to be three laps. I just, yeah, uh, OCD. Thank you. Good night. Um, but we did another three lapper. Lovely sunset. The usual argy bargy down the straight into turn one. We're racing against RBF 750s, R7s, CB 1000 Rs, MV Augusta, F4000s, uh, there might be a couple of MT09s, a Katana in there, so the AI have decided that capacity, there ain't no substitute for cubes, uh, capacity is the way forward, um, as opposed to revs and probably lightness, um, but as you can see, the GSX-R600 2005 vintage, sir, uh, 
just kind of cut its way nicely through. There's a little bit of argy bargy in the first couple of turns, but outside of that, it wasn't too bad. What I realised quite quickly is the bike would let you play, so run a little bit wide of entry, carry the speed through the corner. I mean, that's a GSX-R600, so I just made myself like a right knobhead, but, um, and you can set people up. Now, through the very, very fast turn six on the sprint circuit, down the outside of the RVF 750, I thought I'll outbreak him. No, I won't, but he runs a bit deep into the first part, and we go past. Say he, Lotta, I don't know if that's a he or a she, we'll just say they instead, we'll be, uh, we'll be gender pronoun friendly. Um, and that's how it stayed. We used, what, just over half of the tyres, so it will do a five lap race on soft tyres. I have no doubt about that. Plenty here in the front, rear green, luminous green, nice temperature in that rear tyre. So it warms the tyres up nicely, it'll make them last, and it's quite quick. When we had a look at the leaderboards, I was already third on the 2006Z1000, 126.654. So we went and had some fun. Lap two of many, I think 15 or 16 laps. We did 126.453, which was just, just quicker than we'd gone on the 06Z1000. Now, that Z1000 lap, I did not, don't remember doing it and didn't expect it to be that high up, but there you go, third. So we've gone... Second slash theoretically first and third, which again for a 600 in these leaderboards, quite good. Next up, Cadwell Club, Cadwell Club Wet. Try saying that when you've had a few drink. Carnage. Ah, look at the state of this. Bikes and riders absolutely everywhere. It's piss wet through. There's no grip. It's just. I do not like this track. I do not like it. Woodlands, amazing. Club, scrap. Absolute scrap. Not good. Uh, this is where the lack of grunt became a massive issue. It just did not have, did not have the legs down the straight to put any pressure on anything that was smaller than, well, anything that was not another 600 or an MT-09 or whatever that didn't have a massive amount of power. A thousand cc bikes just walking away in a straight line. And I tried into this first corner every time. I was like, I'll outbreak them, I'll go around the outside. I mean, what's that? Is that a 998? And an MV Augusta, the anti wheelie is on zero, so we're fighting that. Oh, sorry, anti wheelie's on one, but we're fighting that as well. Turn it down to zero, try and get a bit more drive, and we're just going to pull in massive wheels out there. I mean, look at that, that is sideways, rear wheel, absolutely locked up. Um, but I just couldn't get past them. This is as close as I got, and they just pissed off into the distance. So, yeah, it was rather, it was rather, rather, rather frustrating. Um, but, Never give up. Well, not that it made a difference, we just finished third, but you can't win them all, so I just thought I'd pull wheelies instead. Didn't get a time penalty for that cut as well, that's something to remember for the future. No penalty time penalty for that cut. Um, when I went back to the leaderboards, <laughs> um, we've already done this um, with some smaller capacity bikes. I thought I'd done it on a bigger bike as well, but I haven't. So, it was a case of working out where we're gonna sit, 20th-ish with a time that we'd done in the wet which was a bit of a surprise so we went back in the dry and knocked a good four seconds well best part of four seconds out of it which four to five seconds on a wet track i think that seems to be the ballpark figure and oops yeah we've just done a, a track guide there with a two stroke 250 perhaps should have waited and done it with a 600 instead but hey ho it's done isn't it so that's top so that's Second slash first, third and first. See, so I told you it was handy. Uh, last up, sorry, speedy buddy. Uh, Imola, three laps in the night. Um, I don't particularly enjoy the night racing. I don't think the lighting um, meshes and graphics are particularly good, uh, but you just have to suffer with it. French Riviera is the worst. You can't see through the light pool that a light's putting down the ground. It's just madness. But anyway, use your carnage through the first couple of corners at. Imola, and then it's a case of who's got the biggest nuts and who's going to be latest on the brakes. Um, the CB, is it a CB? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's an MT07, MT09, something like that. Uh, then we're drag racing our ones, keep an eye on the headlight up the right hand side of the track. This is where that lack of grunt comes in. We're getting um, we're getting hoovered back up by that, that Gem 1 R1, but there's a little bit of hip and shoulder, and it's like, oops, see you later. Um, and then we're down the hill into. It's Aqua Minerale, isn't it? Yeah, Aqua Minerale. Um, through here and it was just it's dark I don't know where the curve is I've got a bike absolutely coming through the front screen at me um, and again just that lack of grunt you can just see the other bikes just pulling away so then you've got to do it on the brakes then you smoke in the front tyre because we're on softs again and it's just oh that was nice so she came completely forgot about that 
Um, but yeah, there you go. So, good bike, quick bike. If you like 600s and you want to ride something that's got an absolute gold standard capacity to fire you into the top 10, top 5, top whatever on the leaderboards, the 2005 G6R 600 is that bike. It would not catch, and I tried, I really tried, and this is about as close as we got. At one point, I was hoovering a bit of time down that hill towards the Rivatsa corners, and I thought, I'm in. I'm going to absolutely steam up the inside in the first or second run, but no, I'm not, just whatever they were on, and I can't remember what they are on, and I don't remember the result, but it was obviously bigger than a 600, because they were just slowly, slowly, slowly walking away down the straights, and it was frustrating. It was very, very frustrating. Um, and when we went to look at the leaderboards, we did a 145.907 in the race at night. So there's going to be a couple of seconds in there coming out from from night to day racing. Um, it took me a while for my brain to get into gear. We're already 91st on the same bike. I don't remember doing the time. Uh, the bike didn't really have much of a setup in it when I first started using it. But that's where we're going to end up, 66th. We did a 143.679. Medium front on that, not soft. Medium front. The, the soft just got very, very hot coming through. Um, some of the chicanes in the Aquaman are early, and would have been 19th. Now I've had a scoot up and down, and I can't see any other GSX-R600s um, like within a, a 10 or so places of that, so yeah, there you go. There's the setup again, um, use it, abuse it, have a go. Just use it as a base setting, Don't. it's not the be all and end all, it's just somewhere where you can start, and I go, look, that's really quick, use it and have a look at the setup video I did a while back and that'll tell you what to do and where to go and what to do and depending on what the bike's doing. And that's it. Still with me? Good. I'm tired. I need a drink, I think. Done a lot of talking. Well, there you go. Pretty. Pretty GSX-R600. I think that is the best looking GSX-R600 750 series they made. 05 to sort of like 07, 08. After that, they went a bit weird. Um, but that's it. Next time, uh, we're going to be on the 2018 KTM Duke 790. Um, I haven't done those videos yet. I'm still... Um, in love with Gran Turismo 7. I haven't really touched my Xbox, but I promise to get them done in the next couple of days And I'll have out as soon as I can. But thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all the usual jazz, and fingers crossed I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, peace.